Hello there, this is Sifcat. This video is all about Apple's WatchOS app development and its second episode of WatchOS Full Course. If you haven't watched my first episode, I have provided its link in my video description. Check it out right now. Now, in this episode, we will take a look at our introduction to the WatchOS notification. There are two types of notification in WatchOS, which is of static and dynamic. So let's start doing it. First of all, I'm going to search for my Xcoach right. And I'm going to create a new project from these options, which is of create a new Xcode project. Click that. Here you can find options like a, choose a template for your new project. I can find here watch OS and I'm going to use here watch app instead of I use app with watch app. You can choose any one either, doesn't matter about it. I'm going to click next for this. And I'm going to name the product as, uh, let's say, watch app uh, notification. And uh, here I'm going to select the language as Swift and user interface. I'm going to select the storyboard. I'm not going to use Swift UI here. And uh, make sure that you check this include notification scene. If you uncheck this and click next means there will be no notification scene inside our storyboard. You can take it from manually, but uh, I recommend to click this, make sure that you check this right and click next. And I'm going to save here in my iOS project so you can save wherever you like, doesn't matter about it. Create the project. Here we go. I have here this uh, watch app notification, watch which is of uh, watch kit app, and uh, I can find here uh, interface dot storyboard, interface controller, extinction delegate, notification controller dot zip file, and I'm heading over to the interface dot storyboard and check what's there inside. Since I have said that uh, we have checked that include notification scene, that's why we have two, three screen the controllers extra which means like controllers which is of as you can see here is a static notification this is for a dynamic and this is for a dynamic interface controller all right and uh, you can also find here push notification payload.apns which is called uh, apple's push notification system and uh, if you if you uncheck that uh, include notification you won't be most probably getting these three controllers inside your story but you can uh, call it from manually, but I click that so we are already having this. So let's head over to the push notification payload.apns which is provided by the Apple. Actually, this is a notification JSON like struct. If you are familiar with the JSON, you can be able to find this what's there and uh, what it actually does. It's simple that it's a alert message which we need to provide here, which is of a kind body title, subtitle, and under category thread ID and uh, the action which is there inside is you can find here like simulator actions like a title with a button first button identifier for the first button action which means that after showing the notification you can you can click this uh, actions to click for the first button first button is nothing but it will go to the app itself and identifier will be your first button action and you can also find the dismiss button inside that uh, so that it will dismiss the notification and we have the custom key over here. We will check that later about it. So let's head over back to the main the interface of storyboard. And uh, what I'm going to do is I have done nothing inside this. So let's run and check uh, what actually it does in uh, notification. So it's pretty cool and simple. Uh, we will just go to the interaction in this episode. So as you can find here, look here that there is app watch app notification, and there is a second one which is called watch app notification with notification in bracket so if you click this and if you run with a simulator if you have set you can select any of the watch app uh, from series from your simulator if you can if you it doesn't show over here you can add the additional simulator to add your watch OS app so I have here already a watch series of five and uh, I'm going to use this simulator in order to run so first of all when you run Make sure that you check this watch app notification which is of notification kind, not the normal one. 
and let's run and check uh, what it does actually. My build to succeed and I can find here my watch choice simulator over here. Here you can find here look watch app notification watch kit which is the name of the app would like to send you notification you want to you can go for allow or don't allow so I'm clicking here allow this notification to run it all right and uh, as I said uh, it's already there is a notification which is of uh, from payload its uh, body of title test message optional title all these stuffs so that notification will be trying to appear over here so here look it does it went to a different uh, controller which is called Desmos. so the reason why is you go to the interface dot storyboard come over here and I'm clicking here Desmos. so in order to come up again uh, I'm going to run it again and check because uh, it just the notification will appear uh, just for a second and it will go to the Desmos controller I want to show you that look here yeah this is how it happens so why is this because uh, I have here this uh, static interface which is of kind uh, along with the dynamic and uh, dynamic controller so if I click here I can find here options in the right side that notification interface controller which is of has dynamic interface or has dynamic interface interact to interface so I'm unchecking these two which means these two if I uncheck this it will disappear from the storyboard and if I try to run this from here you can find that this won't come which means the controller which is a interface controller never appear in our notification look here test message that's the body and if I click next dismiss it will go to dismiss and from here this is of static uh, notification kind if I click here or inside this interface controller I can find here options to change color to this uh, whatever I like and I can find here also this uh, watch app actually it's nothing but the name of the app as you can see over here and this is the alert label which is of kind uh, the main message which we are trying to send over here I can go here and edit few options here which means uh, if I want to set the body as uh, let's say uh, this is static notification and uh, I can set here the title uh, all these stuffs as well let's say swift cat and subtitle I can name it as uh, hello And if I try to run this from here, let's see what happens. Here we go. I have the body over here. This is a static notification and I can even click the dismiss from here as well. And uh, this message which is of title and subtitle will come uh, for a, just for a second and it will disappear. Let's run and check once more here we go yeah this is simple and this is the main concept in uh, static no uh, static notification and uh, let's check uh, about the dynamic in the next one next we will check about uh, dynamic notification and uh, Alright, uh, here the body inside the body. I spelled it uh, wrong instead of static. Yeah, I made it right. Alright, my bad. Now let's head over back to the interface. Start sorry, boat, and uh, now we're gonna check about the static, uh, sorry, dynamic notification. So as I said earlier, what happens if I try to run with the static notification is uh, the the simulator will appear with the body and title and then come to this uh, static notification which is for the body and it shows the body exactly the title and subtitle will come just for a second and it will go to the dismiss controller that's what happens inside the static controller now let's uh, inside this I'm clicking over here and as you can find here notification interface controller I'm checking back this dynamic has dynamic interface 
so I check this back as you can see over here as I said uh, this controller has appeared as soon as possible so I don't want this has interface uh, interactive interface so I'm just unchecking this one and I'm going to use only this dynamic interface which is for the dynamic notifications kind so uh, when you run the project which means I guess, as you can see over here that uh, one of the two will be used which one is undefined so what actually does does it mean is here you have a static notification and dynamic notification and the app doesn't know which one is used and which one is defined it haven't recognized so for example if i'm using dynamic dynamic notification in an, if i fail this notification in dynamic it will call the static instead that's what happens here so okay let's uh, go back to this dynamic notification and clicking over here and uh, let's head over to the right over here upon the custom class which means that like like uh, I can go for a class which is already uh, kept here like a notification controller so I'm clicking that and to make sure that you inherit module from the target so I have here this assistant editor as uh, which means the class of this dynamic notification as notification controller if I go to click this assistant I can see here that I have here the stuff which is for the uh, dynamic notification as uh, notification controller dot zip file if I make space over here as you can see over here as is it's a kind of uh, WK user notification interface controller which is having a will active will deactive this is all meant for in uh, if you know in iOS it's, it's like a view did load view did disappear kind of stuff and uh, the main stuff over here is dynamic which just means did receive the notification that's what happens here if the notification have been received we can do stuffs inside here so in order to do that what I'm going to do here is let's head back back to the interface of storyboard and uh, I'm going to hear this inside this plus button which is for the library and I'm going to create an object which is for a label kind and I'm placing it over here and I'm going to select one more label over here and uh, here the label I can make the title which is uh, I can give a title and here I can give some body type that's what it meant for so inside this we can also custom here if you click here uh, I can also custom here with the colors background color all these stuffs if I want to change the color to the pink I can make it pink uh, inside the back uh, background color I can even call the background with an image if uh, here I have the image button if I click here and call some image, it will be show appearing in the background, likewise. And uh, let's hold the label kind, and I can change here the text color. I can change here the font, all these stuffs. I can uh, custom or systemize all these things inside this. So this is a kind of uh, it's a it's a kind of uh, let's say it's, this is the title and. Uh, Let's make this as the body over here. Uh, text color which of white will be suits inside this background. And uh, this kind uh, inside this of kind body. All right. If I want to make the space much more bigger or smaller, I can make it. I can even change the phones to back to the body as well if I want uh, body and the title to be the same size I can change it so let's do that uh, inside this I'm going to change back to this uh, of body kind all right it's pretty nice and simple and here you can find here alignment all these stuffs inside and you can customize all these things and you can align you can size whatever you kind and I'm going to click here and going to my this assistant editor and I'm going to create two IB outlets for these two labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some space over here and so I click on this label and press control and drag it over here which is for the IB outlet. So I will say I would say this uh, title TI title label. And uh, it's for connection is going to outlet and uh, strong which is of type WK interface label. 
So I'm going to click the next one, which is the second label, and uh, press Control, and I can come it over here, and I can say that uh, body title or body label. And uh, I'm going to connect this as well. So I forgot to mention that uh, if you want to change the, which means if you want to, if there is number of lines, like uh, you can change the number of lines to zero from zero to one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't matter. You can uh, uh, you can change the lines if the body, if the body of the message is uh, bigger, you can make the change in the lines accordingly. So I'm just keeping it here with symbol which is off lines one. I'm going to use only one line of here. That's why. And uh, let's head over back to this uh, notification control.zip file. And inside this did receive notification. What I'm trying to do is uh, I'm going to title label, which means the title label dot text, which is of set text. And the string inside this, uh, what I'm going to do is um, let's say a shift get and uh, I'm going to name the body as well. So let's say body label dot says dot set text will be of kind. Uh, this is uh, this is dynamic dynamic notification. So let's run from here and check uh, what it does actually what we have done so far. Okay, so I'm stopping this. And heading and running it again. The build is sucks. Here we go. I have here the title as uh, Swiftcat, and uh, this is the dynamic notification. Here, you know that the lines is not completely in. In, inside this so I will go to the interface dot storyboard and uh, in order to make the line specific and clicking here the body type and uh, let's say let make the lines two or three and let, let's run and check what it does sorry Here we go. It went to this uh, static notification right here. Take a look that this is uh, SwiftCat and hello there. This is static notification. Let's just say dismiss. And uh, because here it happened, why is it failed to the dynamic notification? That's why it went to the static notification. That's an example of it. So sometimes it may get failed with a, a dynamic notification. That's why it goes to the static notification. And uh, the reason maybe it's a bug actually with Apple and uh, it happens. But that's for the reason it's keeping the static notification anyhow with that. And uh, let's change this title and let's try to run it again and check. Here we go. I have here the dynamic notification. Let's say the Swift cat, and this is dynamic notification. So that's it. So that's a simple interaction to the notification where uh, in an watchOS with Apple's watchOS uh, for a notification for with uh, static and dynamic. So that's all in this video, and we will take a look much more deeper about static notification, dynamic notification, or APS call, APNS and API calls more related to it in upcoming episodes. So if you haven't watched, uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, I recommend to subscribe it for upcoming videos to get it through. All right, that's all in this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you. That's all.